Thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Brian Loftus. I'm Kirsten Joyce. In parts of the North Valley, it seems they're also dealing with a bit of a stink bug issue. Sasha Loftus is live near Ann Road and Fort Apache with details. Brandon Kirsten, we are talking about, of course, those grasshoppers, but also the stink bugs like you mentioned. Now, everyone we spoke with say they're just out of control right now, and unfortunately, with these mo or this moisture and these conditions, they're awfully hard to get rid of. Now, we're told they're called SAYS stink bugs, and experts say there are more here in Las Vegas right now because of our state's unusually wet winter and spring. Now, just like those crazy videos of grasshoppers you see circulating all around social media, some are dealing with swarms of these stinkier pests. We spoke with one local gardener here in the Northwest Valley, and she says they're destroying her de tomato crops. With as much as I've thrown away, I probably really only eat about 25% edible tomatoes for the season right now, which is really not normal. These things generally feed on, you know, uh, vegetation, and they could, like we said, cause some damage, uh, but for the most part, I don't think we'll see any real heavy damage. Now, one important thing to remember, you don't want to squash them because they are stink bugs and they will produce a pretty nasty smell. Now, back out here live, that entomologist you just heard, he told us that they are attracted to that bright light. And the good news, they do stay out of the uh, out of the area usually when it's hotter like this, but they usually come out in the early morning or in the late evening or overnight. Brian. Well, Sasha, obvious question. Any tips to kind of keep these bugs away? Now, Brian, because of they, that bright light they're attracted to, the entomologist we spoke with, Jeff Knight, says that it is better to get those yellow or amber-colored light bulbs instead of the bright lights, the LED lights, because those are, of course, going to attract more of those bugs. And we will have more tips coming up for you on 8 News Now at 6 o'clock. Reporting live, Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now. All right.